Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World videos. We are learning PowerPoint advanced tips and tricks and my name is Neeru Varma. Topic for this session is pencil and crayon effects. We learn in this session that how do we give the pencil sketch or the crayon effect to the images or to the pictures or to any object. I'll show you some examples. This is one arrow. This is a kind of image that I have inserted, the first one. And the, the below one, this is like that we have given the pencil sketch touch to this image. In the similar way, you have some image, then you can apply these kind of effects. And I'll show you that how you can create this effect. I'll show you one more picture. This is a kind of road map. I have a road and we have some flags on it. We have some milestones. And after providing the pencil sketch effect, it looks like this. So we have different kind of effects and we have different images too. So you can provide these effects. Now this is the first object that I was showing you. So I'll guide you that how we can create this. I have this object inserted here. Let me insert a new slide here. I'll show you. Okay, so I'll insert some object here. I click on insert and after that let's say I'll insert this smiley here. Now under the drawing tool click on format and let's say I have selected this. So this is the object I have. Now what I'll do is, I'll copy this object and after that I'll paste this object as a picture. So now this is, I have pasted this object as a picture and now I can provide multiple effects here. I click on the format tool, here I'll be having the artistic effects. Click here. Now these are certain effects that you can provide. This is the marker effect. Then we have the pencil gray line sketch. Pencil sketch. So you can see that it looks like that it's giving you a shading or the pencil kind of effect. I'll show you that how it looks like if I select the slideshow. So that was the object and we have given this touch here. In the similar way, if you have any picture inserted from any clip art or if you have the picture inserted from the Google and you want to change that in the pencil sketch, then you can apply this effect and that would be changed to the pencil shade or the pencil effect kind of a picture. In the similar way, I have created this road map. After designing that, I want this to be displayed as a... I have pasted this as a picture here and now I can select this and I can provide multiple effects here. I can select artistic effect and these are the multiple effects here. This is the paint stroke then blurred. If you want to show a blurred image then you can select this. Then we have multiple film grain so you have a lot of options here. So the options we are interested here is in the in the kind of like the marker effect or the pencil gray scale. Then we have the pencil sketch effect. In the similar way for this picture I have selected this the chalk sketch. So it gives you the image like that as if you have drawn the image with the help of a pencil or so. So in this way, whatever object you have, whatever object you have created with the help of multiple shapes, after creating the object, you can paste that as a picture. You can create that in a, instead of using that object, use that as a picture. And after that, you can apply the multiple effect here. And it would give you an option that you have created it with the help of a pencil or with the help of a crayon. So this is how you can use this effect. That was it for the session. Thanks everyone. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.